Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, many of us are spending a whole lot more time in close quarters with our families. Children are home from school, husbands and wives are home from work. And in times like these, historically, you end up uh, with two things, a baby no! in nine months, and also more divorces. So, true. so today we want to discuss how can social distancing affect our relationships. How's it doing for you, Trina? Well, you know, I'm already new, but anyway, but I'm gonna tell you something about it all. There are no sports. <laughs> so in about nine months, we're gonna have a bunch of coronials. Yes. Mm. I think so. Yes. I, I look at it the same way. I, I was thinking about it last night. I said, you know what? There's gonna be a lot that comes out this quarantine. Mm -hmm. Preferably babies. Preferably babies. Because I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. The men are gonna go and find their leading lady. I didn't say, because they gotta find the one that they really like, because see, they got about five or six of them in the stable. Oh, but they're gonna find, I'm, <laughs> listen, in the stable. They're gonna find the in one that they really the like, stable. and they're gonna play house together. They're gonna go get booed up, and she's gonna be cooking and cleaning, uh, and they're gonna be laying up and having a good time playing footsies, and they're gonna footsies. play games and everything, honey. And guess what? And she's gonna fall all in love, just head being a, a whirlwind. And when it's over, when that quarantine is lifted, Girl, he might not know you. Oh, don't say that. I'm going to say what I want to say. <laughs> he might not know you. But you might say, don't worry about it, brother. You have a little souvenir uh. that I brought home with me. And he has to continue to get to know you. Come on. I'm just saying what it is. <laughs> this, is gonna this is going to happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. It's going to be a lot of baby mamas coming out of this situation. A lot of but there are going to be some situation. people that come together in love. And because of the social distancing that we're all experiencing, they could come out on the other side with a new baby. I think that'll be a sweet thing, but I understand yours as well. But Girl, on the flip please. side of that, yeah. folks, folks who have, are spending a lot more time together who are used to going to work, coming home, going to the gym, and they see each other in the morning before breakfast, then they go home, and then they see each other right before dinner time. But those people who are in close quarters be like, oh my God, I, who are you? Why do you? Why are you like this? I don't spend this much time with you. And a lot of people are, uh, because of other uh, countries that are, have been quarantined, have now been filing for divorce. The number of divorces in China uh, have skyrocketed because mm. of the quarantines. Because you're you're with people that you uh, you know truly or supposedly love, mm -hmm. but now you have to be with them throughout the entire day. So you see all of their ups and downs, their idiosyncrasies that you thought you loved. And you're like, I don't like this so much. And now like, there is aggravating. And, and it can become aggravating and people are getting divorced. I, on the flip side of that, I really have been enjoying. I mean, I know it's still early, but you, my husband's a teacher. So we always have summers with each other. So the kids being home and him being home and me having this type of job where we can actually be home. It's nothing to me right now. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like spending time with Vaughn because we, we're friends. We like each other. Yes. But, like with my first husband, when we had to spend time like together together, like it worked on my nerves when he held his fork. Oh. You know what I mean? Cause he used to grip it. Oh. It, 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 Trina, like that. I, can I get personal with you? Hmm. Has he ever did any jail time? No, he, he, but he needs to for child support. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's guys. Oh, that's the reason why I asked boom. because he was holding this his fork, fork like that and I thought he had to hover over mm -mm. his food. Nope, nope, came from an affluent family. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm. But you would never think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, because well. somebody's in arrears. So we're hoping that this time together with your family will produce some positivity in your lives. I am looking forward to, uh, although I did say at the top of the show, it's been a very uh, difficult first day of trying to just get the curriculum of our children. Mm -hmm. Right. It really has pressed a reset button because I'm a, I'm a lot more intentional with my children, especially our younger daughter. Bailey is really, she's really self-sufficient when it comes to her academics and she'll start Zoom school or whatever they're doing tomorrow. But it's become making me more intentional because I had carried a lot of mom guilt for not spending a lot of time with her academically. So I think certain things ha will come from this if you look at it in a different way. And so I did prior to the homework starting. I was like, God, please, you give me the strength and the patience because mm. those are the things that I lack when it comes to helping my child mm. academically mm. because she does not gravitate towards academics at all. So that baby? has been a, no, Carter, oh, oh, okay. that's been the younger baby. That has been a challenge for me in trying to set her up for greatness. So now because of this, it has forced me mm -hmm. to set her up for greatness because I am, she and my, I mean, me and my husband are the ones that have to sit down with her. Mm. So I'm taking this, um, um, and, and using it uh, uh, on the advantageous side of mm -hmm. things. So I'm taking advantage of it completely. What's Zoom school? 
It's like a Zoom online. is like a, a online where you actually can be inside the classroom or wherever the teachers are going to be teaching. Mm. So it's virtual. It's all virtual. So Bailey actually has to sit. Well, kids at her school have to sit in front of the computer and they go to each class. Well, that's good. Yeah. I like that. But I got to tell you, out of this quarantine, the good, bad, and the ugly will mm. prevail. It will. It yeah. will. But Just we're going to err on the side of goodness, hopefully. Yay! Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. No, we're, are we coming back? Is, that, is this it? Yeah, we're coming back. Oh, we'll be right back. How about that? Yes. <laughs>